What is Alberta Opportunity Stream? Alberta is a province of Canada and more than 4 million people are residing in this province. We will discuss the eligibility criteria for the Alberta Opportunity Stream and procedure how to apply for this stream, uh, who is eligible to apply for this stream. So Khalil from Millennium Immigration Canada. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it and uh, hit the bell icon button to receive new videos on time. Now let's start the topic Alberta Opportunity Stream. Before apply for the Alberta Opportunity Stream, you must have to check the eligibility criteria. You have only one application in the process at the same time in all Alberta Immigration Nominee Program. If you have a second application, the INP portal, please withdraw that second application link of the program, Alberta Opportunity Stream, how to apply alberta.ca. You can write it on Google and then it will take you to this page. So you will get full information. So I'm here to just highlight important information. So how to apply for Alberta Opportunity Stream. First of of all you have to read the terms and conditions second review the eligibility criteria before applying because if you don't meet the eligibility criteria then you are, you are going to waste your time third step you have to complete your application online how to do that i will tell you later on this video alberta opportunity stream eligibility criteria okay your eligibility will consist of residency work permit requirements and occupation requirements language requirements education requirements work experience requirement and eligible job offer requirement source of the information here you can see the page how does it look like so this is the alberta opportunity stream eligibility criteria this is the government of alberta website so in this way you can find here all eligibility criteria residency work permit requirements occupation requirements language requirements education requirements work experience requirement eligible job offer requirements and their contact information you see here residency work permit requirements and who is the eligible applicant who got valid work permits are based on one of the following up who has got positive lmia or LMIE exemption for workers based on one of the following exemption. Okay, if you are belonging to the agreements, international trade agreements, workers trans transferred within the company, international experience, Canada class, immobility, francophone class program, or an open work permit issued by IRCC to vulnerable workers who is facing abuse at workplace or risk of abuse in the context of their employment in Canada, including under the vulnerable workers open work permit exemptions or a family member of a vulnerable workers under the VWOWP exemption okay, or a post graduation work permit holders who did graduation through Alberta Advanced Education publicly funded post secondary institutions or post graduate work permit holders must also meet specific occupational education or work experience requirements as set out below. So just show you this page. In eligible applicants, you know, refugee claimants or individuals involved in a federal appeal or removal process, you must have to live in Alberta to apply for this stream. Or the foreign nationals living or working in Canada who do not have a valid temporary residence status means they are on implied status or their work permit is expired then they are not eligible. It's eligible occupations. Most occupations are under national occupation classification because skills level 0, A, B, C and D are eligible under the AIN because good luck for those who belongs to C and D because most of the people they belong to C and D occupations you know they are very non-technical and non-skilled people so they can also apply to through this i just want to show you these ineligible occupations if your occupations falls uh, you know in this category in these jobs then you are not eligible to apply for this stream i just will scroll down the screen so you guys can see later on okay properly so the list of ineligible occupations if you have any experience in these occupations or this no course or skill levels or the positions here then you are not eligible to apply for this. All these positions, they are ineligible to apply for the Alberta Opportunity Stream. Criteria for post-graduation work permit holders. So guys, just read it properly. The language requirement. You see the complete table mentioned here. So national occupation classification, no skills level. If you are working in a NOC, zero means managerial positions, A means professional positions, doctor, engineers, lawyers, accountants, okay, human resources, marketing managers or marketing executives. B occupation for means, B means technical or skill occupation like electric electricians, welders or carpenters, cabinet makers. In English language skills you need minimum five score of each skills means reading, writing, listening and speaking. And if you want to take NCLC which is French test then you need five in each skills reading, writing, listening and speaking. If you are working in a NOC C and D occupations then you need a minimum four in each skills.
if you are taking CLC like French course, so you need minimum four for each French language skill. Guys, if you apply to the ANP under NOC code 3413, which is Nurse Aids, Orderlies and Patient Service Associates, then you need to bring CLB 7 for each English language skills or NCLC 7 for each French language skills. So these are the approved English language tests like uh, self-hip general test. Either you take this one in English or IELTS general training test. Or if you want to take NCLC, which is French test, then TEF Canada or you can take TCF Canada, either one. Minimum education required for this stream is high school education equivalent to Alberta standard, okay? Okay, if you are secondary pass in other countries, then you must have to present ECA report. The report must be issued through the designated organizations, you know, who are doing equivalency for your qualification that must be equivalent to the Canadian qualification of high school. If you have completed your Canadian degree diploma certificate from a recognized Canadian post-secondary technical college or secondary institution, then you know need to present education credential assessment report eligible alberta credentials if you have alberta qualification then that could be certificate or post diploma certificate or diploma programs which is which could be minimum two years in length undergraduate bachelor's degree graduate level degrees graduate level certificate graduate level diploma work experience requirement you must have at least minimum of 12 months full-time work experience in your current occupations in alberta within the last 18 months or a minimum of 24 months of full-time work experience in your current occupation in Canada or abroad within the last 30 months or both. This work experience experience can be a combination of experience gained in Alberta, in Canada, outside Alberta or abroad, guys. Eligible job offer. Your job offer must be continuous paid work, full-time work defined as a minimum of 30 hours per week, employment for 12 months or more. At least uh, your employment uh, contract must be for 12 months or more. Less than 12 months is not eligible. And work in your current occupations, wage and benefits that meet provincial minimum wage and meet or exceed the requirements set out in your LMIA. So these are the ineligible applicants based on job offer. I have covered almost all these six eligible requirements to be eligible for this stream. So how to apply? First of all, you must have to create an account in My Alberta Digital ID. So if I click here, so this is the site here. Okay, it will open like this, My Alberta Digital ID. So here sign in, if you have already username and password, just enter here and then you can do next, enter in the portal. If you don't have, then you have to create your account here. Okay, if you are first, if you are new on this site here. So sign in information and email, put your username, email, confirm your email, your pass, put your password and confirm your password. Personal information, first name, middle name, last name, date of birth, you are male or see female. And you put your address, country, where are you living, province, city, address one, address two, line, postal code, telephone number, extension, cell phone number, and the last check mark on the terms and conditions. And then you submit, then it will create username and password. And then you put that in the sign in process here here and then do next and then it will let you in to the portal. This is how you have to glide through this Alberta Opportunity Stream. So what documents you require to do that? All documents are in PDF format. If you don't have PDF install in your computer, install it. Otherwise you will not be eligible to download this file. So you have to put Alberta Opportunity Stream document checklist. This is complete checklist here guys. Alberta Opportunity Stream document checklist for the ANP portal. Okay, when you will be making your file, you have to arrange your documents through this checklist. Your documents may include one or more of the following. Files. When you will have finished everything here, then a file number will be assigned to you in the portal. Application fees is $500 Canadian dollars. This is a phone number, email address. You will need to pay your fees within 24 hours of submitting your complete applications. If you like this video, give a big thumb to the video and subscribe to this channel and take care.